Welcome to what this is. Yeah, I know, it's cheesy, whatever. Get over it. You know the deal. Like, subscribe, comment, algorithm. Let's go, folks. Let's see what scary fitness trends we have coming up. <laughs> so, a lot of you sent me this video, which I have not watched yet. But the title is, Why You Can't Stop Eating Cheese. I don't need to watch this. I'll tell you why I don't stop eating cheese. It's because it's delicious. That's why. I'm gonna be straight up. My bias is that cheese is awesome. Also high quality protein. If you can tell me I'm gonna stop eating cheese, we gonna have problems. Okay, this is from Dr. Pedina Natural Health. Gee, I wonder what his background is. Oh God. Shocking! Gut health. Just so you know, gut health is a buzzword. Unless somebody has done their PhD in microbiome research, they don't know what the f they're talking about with gut health, but I digress. Gut health, hormones, health optimization. Buzzword, buzzword, buzzword. Voted best naturopathic doctor in Lajala, functional medicine certified. Best naturopathic doctor in LA. That is like taking all the people that couldn't make the team growing up and then putting them in a game and seeing who wins and saying, you're the champion of not the real team because you're not a real doctor. Have you ever wondered why you're addicted to eating cheese? All right, real quick. Just because you like something doesn't mean it's addictive. This is very triggering for me. You know, there are some people out there who have actual real addictions that screw up their lives and cause untold amounts of pain and devastation to families. And when you use the word addicted or addiction, it minimizes those folks and what they actually go through. Nobody's out here knocking over 7-Elevens for cheese, bro. So yeah, can we just stop using the word addicted? I like breathing, I'm not addicted to it. I like food, I'm not addicted to it. I like sex, I'm not addicted to it. Now you can have people who are addicted to sex, but again, when it really controls your life, that is when it's an addiction. So I really recommend these folks who like to pedal around this buzzword to go look at Webster's Dictionary definition of addiction and then please choose your words more carefully. By the way, this guy's eyebrows are on fleek. Have you ever wondered why you're addicted to eating cheese? This is the prettiest man well, I've ever seen in my life. I'm about to tell you why. When you eat cheese, the protein in it, casein, mixes <gasps> with your stomach acid, creating something called casomorphine. <gasps> casomorphine is an opiate-like substance which hits the same part of the brain as drugs, alcohol, and sex, and it can be very addicting. So next time you're about to have some cheese, ask yourself, are you giving into an addiction? It's like this guy watched What the Health and was like, oh yeah, the cheese, it's addicting, as he was plucking his eyebrows. This is a real thing in that, yes, casein can form a compound with these opiates. First off, so that's why we have this thing called digestion, which breaks down casein into its constituent amino acids. Yes, for a brief period of time, they can form these compounds. The amount that get absorbed into your bloodstream is extremely minimal. And if you'd had real medicine, you would know that the dosage makes the poison. But your weekend class apparently didn't cover that. I'm telling you that like basic toxicology is the dosage makes the poison. Also, if that's the case, why aren't people just drinking tons of milk and addicted to milk because milk is 80% casein. So you're telling me that cheese specifically has these compounds? Because that seems weird. So again, if people are addicted to this and why aren't they just running into fields with cows and just like squirting it into their mouth? Yes, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, this is just like straight up pulled off of that horrible, awful, vegan propaganda documentary, What the Health, and he just regurgitated it right out. People sending me this, like, come on, use your brain. If this really happened, if it created an opiate-like addiction, do you know what people who are addicted to opiates are like? It's not like, oh yeah, you know, I had a couple servings of cheese today. You like obsess over it. This is the kind of thing that ruins people's lives. It's not like, oh man, I had three servings of cheese today, I'm a real piece of shit. This is like, you can't go more than a few hours or a day without getting high on opiates, like actual opiates, because it's such a strong, physical, real addiction. If we could please just stop tossing around this word addiction, that'd be great. All right guys, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you next week.